What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I'm going to pick on this GTV that was pinned up by No Trick Pony, it was sent to me by Potty314, and a couple videos back when I was picking one of Potty's locks, I started the video with this lock uh, showing how uh, I couldn't even get a uh, blank into the core, and uh, I've since solved the problem with a tip from Torch of KCK, uh, he told me just Chuck it up in a vise, grab an orbital palm sander, and without the sandpaper, hold it up against the side, hold it up against the other side, and then hold it up against the face for three minutes each. So like a total of about ten minutes on an orbital sander. And uh, yeah, lo and behold, works now. Still crunchy in there when it goes in, and that's due to uh, what's inside of this lock. I put a um, clip on the back, you can't see it, but I put a clip on the back because it not only didn't come with a key, it didn't come with a clip, so I uh, put a clip on it just so it's a little bit more reliable when I'm picking. Um, I'll take that clip off before I send it back out. Anyway, um, yeah, when I uh, was trying to figure out what was wrong with this lock, I went to Potty's channel and watched the video where he picked it, and uh, when I saw what was inside of it, it didn't really surprise me that this thing froze up like that. So, um, yeah, I'm sure you guys will not be surprised either, so let's uh, try to get into it and take a look and see what was wrong with this thing. Uh -oh. Clicking stuff on my elbow here, not a good idea. videos inside of videos, very meta. I don't like, uh, I don't like going to see uh, what's inside of a lock before I pick it, but, you know, I, I was trying to fix the thing, so I had no choice, and, uh, man, I was disappointed when I saw what was inside this thing. Thought I had it for a sec there. Pretty good full set. There we go. Open on three. So um, yeah, it's you know it's got some play to it, but. Um, you know, you can do that without putting what's what's in here, <laughs> in there. Let's uh, get this thing open and uh, show you what I found out. And this is going to be fun because I'm going to try to get this clip off without locking the lock back up. And um, I really hope I don't because, like I said, it didn't come with a key. if I can do it. <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'll just uh, drop the drop the pins down and I can just tension wrench them up after. stabbing yourself, right? Might as well bleed, too. <laughs> All right. There we go. And go old tension wrench trick. Get this thing to spin back. All right. So, now... 
we get to go see all the fun. Should have used a shim, knowing what's in there, just in case. But meh, it's done now. We got a bunch of pins here. Number one looks bent. I know I wasn't putting that much tension on it. So you would bend your tension wrench before that happened. Number five looks bent too. It's the longest one. Yeah. Number four is the longest one and it's not bent. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> you think the longest one would be the most bent? And my tweezers at. And this is where you're gonna go, oh. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know if you can see it yet, but uh, I'll hold them up after. That's where you go. Oh, yeah, that's why. That's why it was seized. That's why it took 10 minutes on a orbital sander to get working again. So, that is what was in there. Not too bad of a pick once you uh, have a working lock. We have uh, all, all the chambers are threaded in the plug. Um, none in the Bible. Although, uh, <laughs> it is a little chewed up in there. And that's why. Those are not just screws. Those are metal deck screws with the sharpest edges you've ever seen those are knife blade edges meant for uh, cutting into wood so you can imagine what it does to brass um, yeah these aren't machine screws guys these are uh, wood deck screws metal wood deck screws with knife edges on them and uh, you know I'd don't like the idea of putting screws into a lock to begin with, but uh, <laughs> metal deck screws with knife edges like that, definitely not a good idea. Anyway, um, so I got it working again and it wasn't too bad to pick. Um, you know, like any other serration, there's just a bunch of clicks and you just work through it. When it actually works, uh, not so bad. But uh, you'll never see me put anything like this in a lock uh, for that very reason. My my first goal is reliability and then uh, after that it's trying to make it difficult anyway guys uh, that's what was in this uh, GTV pinned up by No Trick Pony No Trick Pony thanks for uh, pinning it up or screwing it up I should say and um, you know maybe not so sharp next time <laughs> anyway uh, have a good one guys